Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Amber. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be unboxing the October Ipsy Glam Bag. Now, I know, I know, I know, I know that it is quite late for being an October unboxing since it is already almost halfway through November, but I got my glam bag a little bit late this month. While we are doing today's unboxing, I would also like to address a few updates with Ipsy itself. I usually start these videos out by giving a little bit of an update on like price and what Ipsy is if anybody is unfamiliar, but apparently I have been giving a little bit of misinformation. I am not sure how long exactly that is because my personal subscription is not paid for by myself. I receive it as a gift from somebody else not ipsy this is not sponsored it was just a christmas gift so i don't control the financial aspect of it so i'm gonna give y'all a little bit of an update according to wikipedia ipsy is a monthly subscription service for 12 dollars per month which provides subscribers with a makeup bag of five deluxe cosmetic samples the products include skincare items perfumes nail and skin products and makeup so that is not too far off from what i have been telling y'all ipsy did used to be only ten dollars a month so i am not sure when when exactly that price jumped up. Um, it is not a huge price jump, but it is enough for people who were used to the $10 a month or like for some people the $10 a month is kind of like the most they can do. So upping that up by a couple dollars, not even just like by one dollar, like they upped it two dollars. I think they probably could have done that a little bit more gradually. And two, the subscription like used to be four to five sample or full size makeup products and then it went to like five full or sample size makeup products and now it's saying that it is just five deluxe samples so I don't know how recent that change was made because I've still like even last month like I have still continuously been getting a mix of like deluxe sample sizes and full size products so I don't know if that is something that they are changing and discontinuing because if that's the case like they upped the price and lowered the quality of like products that you can get that might kind of kill off a lot of their customer base so we'll have to see how that goes i don't know anyways that was a lot of information that is also not the only update that we have but this next one is a fantastic update it was announced on october 1st by ipsy we are so grateful to send over 3 million glam bags every single month to help ipsters everywhere express their unique beauty the not so pretty side of that 3 million metallic mailers going in the trash and causing an environmental impact that is not in line with our ethos. To solve for that, we invested in a packaging makeover. It's now 100% recyclable. So please toss yours in a recycling bin and join us in trying to make the world a more beautiful one. Ipsy used to send their glam bags every month in these like pink metallic mailers. They were pretty iconic from the internet as being like the Ipsy bags. Ipsy finally got onto the sustainability bandwagon. So now we have these new kind of like blush pale pink recyclable ones, which is so, 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 so amazing. And especially like on a corporate scale, like obviously they said over 3 million people get these every month. So now instead of getting stuff that you can you know you can't reuse terribly much and you can't recycle and it's just exists in this form now we have three million things that you can throw in a recycling bin and can get turned into something else that being said i have talked quite a bit on some updates october's glam bag was actually produced in collaboration with betty boop the animated cartoon character that has been somewhat of a cultural icon since the 1930s you've probably seen her i'm sure you've seen her at some point in your life i actually didn't know what exactly she was like i knew of betty boop and i knew like the face and the character but i was like okay is she from a comic strip is she from a cartoon like is it just like a pinup character that was created like what is she so i did have to google that and she is from animated cartoons for the collaboration the glam bag itself which is the cosmetic bag that you get every month is actually a picture of betty boop's face and every bag is supposed to get 
one of the following items from the overall like makeup collection that Ipsy produced in collaboration. Pretty much it's the same thing. If you are familiar with what they did a couple months back, I think May or sometime over the summer, they did a collaboration collection with Tetris where like the bags were Tetris themed and then every bag got at least one product from the like multi-piece collection. This is the same thing just with Betty Boop now and the options that you can get in your bags are one of three different lipstick shades, a lip gloss, an eyeshadow palette, one of two individual eyeshadows, an eyeliner, a mascara, or a nail polish. So we should be getting one of those items in our glam bag today. With all of that being said now, let's go ahead and open our bag. So here we have the Betty Boop shaped bag and then the back is actually sequins which is cute. I did get spoiled via like Instagram at what the bag itself looked like but I didn't know that the back side was sequins. That's cute. We've seen that a couple of times with the Ipsy bags within the last year. We're gonna go ahead and open that up and pull out our little cheat sheet which says flaunt it let's start obsessing over what we love about ourselves it's time to show off what makes you feel beautiful those lips that skin and who better than iconic beauty muse and confidence queen betty boop to inspire you to flaunt it unapologetically it gives you a little blurb about all of the products you got in your bag first up we have all right and i don't know how to pronounce that because it's kind of funky kovas kovas Kuvas, I'm not sure exactly. It is a lip treatment though. Certified vegan. Dope. For anybody who is unfamiliar with my channel, I personally only use cruelty-free products and vegan is a bonus. This lip balm and gloss contains a luxurious and intensely reparative formula that works on contact to soften roughness, relieve discomfort, and help rejuvenate seriously dry lips. A potent concentration of sunflower seed, vitamin E, and shea butter renews the delicate lip area while strengthening lips moisture barrier to help prevent further damage. Formulated with KVOS NYC's unique pigment blend to give your lips a sheen that flatters every skin tone. So apparently the brand is KVOS NYC. The shade is in raspberry. This is what the packaging looks like. Very cute, very compact. We will go ahead and try that in a bit. Next we have, ooh, it's a Pretty Woman nail polish and we have gotten these a few times in the past year. We've, I have another of the Pretty Woman nail polishes and then Pretty Woman actually has a child company which is, uh, oh no, Nail Doctor, Nail Man, uh, mm. I don't remember what it's called, but they have like a child company where it's like nail polish that's supposed to be healthy and actually like heal your nails. Anyways, the company and all of their nail polishes are 10 free, cruelty free, paraben free, sulfate free, fafalate free, GMO free, triclosan free. And this is in the shade Don't Be Jelly. Ooh, that's a very interesting and unique color. It's like a very purple, like I'm getting liquefied Barney vibes. We have that. And since my nails are currently unpainted, we will go ahead and try that out in a little bit as well. Then we have Context Matte Lipstick. It is cruelty free and it is in the shade Sweet Emotion. The packaging is just all black, very sleek. Again, the shade name. Ooh. That's a beautiful color. I don't know why I wasn't expecting a nude, but I wasn't. That's a beautiful, it's kind of like a darker nude, but more warmish toned. Like warmish slash true neutrals maybe. I don't know, that's a beautiful shade and I am very excited to try that out. Next we have, this is the one Betty Boop slash Ipsy product that we are getting. This is That's So Betty eyeshadow, but it also says up past midnight. So 
maybe like the product is called That's So Betty eyeshadow and the shade is up past midnight. Oh and it does say on the packaging that it is cruelty free. That's awesome. I wasn't actually sure if Ipsy brand makeup was cruelty free or not. Oh how cute. It's even packaged nicely in like nice little foam. Oh uh, that's adorable packaging. And we will go ahead and pop. Hang on. Um why is this so hard to open? What the fuck? I can't get it open. Oh, there we go. Just needed to use our teeth. Oh. So that's like a nice kind of... I don't even know how to explain that. It's like a silverish grayish shimmer. That's beautiful. So we will be swatching and testing that out in just a minute as well. Our last product in the back. Oh, okay. This Murad Acne Control Clarifying Cleanser 1.5% Salicylic Acid Acne Treatment. That's fun. And that's like a nice, hefty, decent size, like, bottle. Like, I could go to a store and buy something this size. So that is dope. Especially since, like, I am breaking out massively right now. Um, I have a lot of lighting on me, so you can't tell, so it's, like, super great. But, uh, no, I am breaking out horribly right now because last week I filmed a Beetlejuice special effects makeup tutorial, and I haven't done, like, special effects makeup in four ever and I forget how badly my skin reacts to it so yeah this will be really nice if it works on my skin obviously since it's like an actual wash I will not be testing it in this video so I'm not sure how different exactly the lighting is going to appear on camera unfortunately I had to unplug one of my lights I do think we should start out with the Kavos NYC lip treatment because my lips are more on the chap side right now and then we can do a few products in between the lipstick. Okay so we took the little plastic seal off. Uh, whoa! All right well it's already oozing out of the package but that is a very 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 bright. It's like still oozing. Hold up. That is incredibly bright red. I wasn't expecting there to be like a super intense tint to the lip treatment. Okay, I would like to start. That tastes heavenly. Very familiar. I don't know. It's either like a candy taste or kind of like a yogurt taste. Very, we're gonna have flashbacks to that stupid freaking uh, like honey melon, pineapple, whatever freaking lotion from a few months back. But it, it tastes so nostalgic. And I cannot put my finger on what it is because I'm not really getting like raspberry taste from it either. Like I don't know what it's scented like but it is heavenly. The color is pretty cute. It's kind of just like a muted red. I wasn't expecting it to be tinted so that was interesting. It does feel like it could be very moisturized. Like it's not sticky but it is smooth and liquidous. If that makes sense like my lips aren't sticking together, but they are gliding and sliding across each other. I'm quite a fan of the texture, actually. I love trying different lip products. Unfortunately, most do not work for me, so we will have to see how moisturizing this one actually is. But so far, I'm a fan. We're going to go in with the Pretty Woman Nail Polish. That's what it looks like on the nail. It is a very... It, Looks very warm toned on camera. I am not getting the warm tones in person. If anything, like more of a neutral purple. It is a beautiful color. Like, I would definitely do a whole manicure with that color. It would probably also be a really good color for like lip art or. Yes, definitely put nail polish on your lips. Um, for nail art, <laughs> would be a really pretty color. So yeah, I'm here for that. Let's go in with the eyeshadow. Jeez. Okay, I don't know what it is about this container. It is incredibly difficult to open. Like I chipped and almost broke my whole thumbnail opening it and had to use my teeth before. So like don't know what that's about. 
but the color is still beautiful. We're going to go ahead and swatch that on my hand. Oh, wow. It's a nice, like, kind of charcoal-y, light pencilish gray shimmer but it's it's really really pretty i am into that that would be like make a really fun shimmery smoky eye so yeah i will definitely be getting some use out of that when i am capable of opening the package but no that's a really pretty color actually last we have the actual lipstick so I'm going to go ahead and try and wipe off some of this lip treatment. However, does anybody else ever get like guilty when they swatch a lipstick for the first time? Especially like when it looks that perfect and that like crisp and clean. Also, I love how I'm using the foam from the Betty Boop eyeshadow because I don't have any tissues out here. Okay, so I wiped the lip treatment off. And I may be crazy, and this may definitely be like power of suggestion, but I kind of already feel like my lips were starting to get a little moisturized. So that's promising. We're gonna go in with the lipstick. Mmm, okay. I'm into the color. I would definitely like to have it on with a different colored shirt. But no, I am definitely really into this color. But this taste, like again, what is with all the lip stuff today having like very, it's a very familiar taste. Like, I think it tastes like another lipstick I've had in the past, maybe. That being all of the items, we can go ahead and take a little peek at the cheat sheet. Oh, okay, that's new. The top of it itself is saying that the worth of all five products are over $50. I've never seen Ipsy itself give like price estimates for any of their products like a lot of other subscription boxes do and this isn't even doing it for like individual products it's just saying that the total is worth like 50 plus. I would probably disagree considering some of them, well, hmm, this, okay, this month was actually very surprising because, like, the eyeshadow, it's a single eyeshadow, but, like, it's a full single eyeshadow. It's a full-size nail polish. We got a full-size lipstick. We got, it's probably considered to be more of a deluxe sample size, but, like, this is a full small size acne treatment, and same with this. Like, it's probably just considered to be a deluxe sample, but, like, this could be a full-size lip treatment. I'm actually incredibly impressed with the products in this month. Normally we don't get so many full-sized or like seemingly full-sized products in one bag. So I'd say like I'm definitely not mad about the price increase for this particular bag. Like I would play $12 for all five of those items because they're all you know full size like normal like just one of these nail polishes would have been 12 bucks. The fact that I got all five of these products for 12 is dope. Maybe for this particular bag, I believe that it's like worth 50 bucks, but like not any of the other bags I've gotten. Like most of the time you're le like, you get one full size type product. So this is definitely the exception, but I am here for it. Maybe they upped the price so they could do more full-size products. So with all of that being said, I'd say this month was a huge success and maybe even possibly one of my favorite months that I've gotten so far. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I had a blast hanging out with y'all. Peace.